Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, uh, Candy out. Got a beautiful weekend ahead of us today, Saturday, Sunday, just great. About 78 today, maybe, 85 Saturday, 82 Sunday. Depends where you live, by the way. North Shore, South Shore, uh, further in Nassau, further in Suffolk. Really, I mean, there could be a 10-degree difference depending on where you are. Here's the big news, though. Looks to be dry. Could you have a stray shower? Sure, it's summertime, but looks to be dry, sunny, just fantastic. First full weekend of summer. We are going to be one week from the fest come Sunday. Yeah, Chris Lane, Parmalee, Lanco, Matt Stell, Aaron Kinsey, exciting, can't wait. Ticketmaster.com, fun times, our 11th annual uh, fest. Make sure you get out there, and the same week, July 8th, uh, Michael Ray will be at Mulcahy's. So we got a, a busy week uh, coming up soon around the uh, 4th of July holiday. And reminder, July 4th, we have the free fireworks extravaganza, the Grucci fireworks at Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater at Bald Hill. Uh, so, uh, and that's free for the family, that one, July 4th. So uh, very, very exciting. Uh, we will get to national days and some good news. Gotta read this story. A woman's church group hiked up Camelback Mountain in the Phoenix area in an attempt, in their words, quote, to get closer to God. They got in so much trouble, they almost met him. Uh, there were about a dozen women in the group. They started hiking in the morning. Midday temperatures were about 106, and eight of the women started suffering heat-related injuries, dizziness, fainting, uh, most of them were not local, visiting from different states, Alabama, California, Tennessee, uh, and some of them did admit they didn't do their research before starting the hike. Uh, several of them were wheeled down the trail. By the way, I'm laughing inside because I have a personal story. Uh, when I was 15 and my family flew to Israel, and I fainted on top of one of the most famous mountains in the world, uh, Masada. It was hot. It was, it was, hot. I remember it vividly. I've told the story before. It's, there's a lot more to it. One day we'll get back into it, but, uh, this, this is, hits close to home. Several of the women had to be wheeled back down the trail, brought down by helicopter. Uh, they were all stable condition, uh, condition. Some of them hospitalized. One hiker said, God was definitely with us. Uh, we're thinking if the rescuers didn't come, I don't know what would have happened. We probably wouldn't have made it. Um, and these women admitted they were a little crazy. They were filming a documentary called Bad Girls Gone God, where they embark on strenuous activities to get closer to God. So, you know, this may be turned into a Netflix special at some point. I, I hope so, actually. Would like that to happen. I would like to see some of the uh, the footage and uh, maybe a, at least an hour-long documentary on these women. Uh, some national days today. It is National Pralines Day. Um, and all I can think about is pralines and cream ice cream uh, from Baskin Robbins, right? I mean, I, that that is used to be one of my favorites. Uh, pralines, of course, uh, you know, made from nuts and sugary syrup, and it's fantastic. If you've never had pralines, it's uh, you're missing out. National Take Back the Lunch Break Day. All you workers, go make sure you take that lunch break, especially if uh, it's sunny where you are. And finally, Take Your Dog to Work Day. That ain't happening. Maybe if I still had my little uh, elderly Yorkie Tony who passed away, a little while back. I mean, she was three pounds, and I could carry her around in a little bag or in my arms, and she didn't make much uh, noise at all. Uh, but uh, two young dogs who were, I think both of my dogs are like three years old. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. They are not going to work with me. Too much trouble. Um, some good news for you to round out the week. A grateful Burger King employee at the Las Vegas airport showed off the lame gift bag he got after 27 years on the job without missing a day. It includes a lanyard, some pens, and two rolls of lifesavers. Since 
He's in the airport. He actually works for the company HMS Host, which contracts him out to Burger King. And even though he was grateful, people online thought he deserved more. So someone started a GoFundMe. Last we checked, people donated over $35,000 to this Burger King employee at the Vegas airport. A guy in England found an iPhone in a river this month with, uh, while he was canoeing with his family. Uh, his first thought was there might be some irreplaceable photos on it. So he dried it out, got it to work, tracked down the owner, turned out a guy from Scotland lost it in the river last August, and it had been there 10 months. He got it back to him. This is incredible. This is on Good News Movement on Instagram. An American artistic swimmer, Anita Alvarez, passed out at the World Championships in Hungary Wednesday. She sunk to the bottom of the pool. Her coach dove in and pulled her out. There is a picture and video of this. Really incredible. And an elementary school in New Jersey threw a big going away party for a crossing guard, Claire Bowman. She finally retired at the age of 94. She's been a crossing guard for 57 years. She started in 1965. That is amazing and good stuff. Well, that does it for the week. Candy, we are hoping for a uh, recovery and a return uh, from whatever she is suffering from. And uh, Monday, we are hopeful. Have a great weekend. Um, I'll be with you here till noon. Then Jim Voice Guy O'Brien, who's in for Jay Letterman, uh, he'll be on noon to six again today. I'll be with you tomorrow night, Saturday, for My Country Live Saturday night, presented by AARP Long Island, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to the fest. Come Sunday, we will be one week away. Ticketmaster.com with Chris Lane, Parmalee, Lanko, Matt Stell, and Aaron Kinsey. Let's hit the roads, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on my country, 96.1.